All right, Gary. Yes. We've spoken about my training style. That's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Online learning in general, what you thought about it. You touched on that very well. You are a competent speaker of, of English. Yes, you're a competent speaker. A little, 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 little bit. Yes, you are. I'm feeling you confident, are. but yeah. You're a competent speaker. Yeah, so, you know, I can tell you that. As a, you will have absolutely no problems as long as you, you frame yourself properly as, as, you know, I mean, I don't think you pretend to be a native speaker and you should never do that. Yeah, wh why? Most native speakers are lazy. They don't want to <laughs> learn any other language. Yeah, so you shouldn't pretend and ever, ever. And I think in any job situation, you will not have a problem. Yes, anybody who tries to to make your competence a problem, they're trying to sell you something. Just take my words mm. for it. Yeah, so just 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 keep on keeping on. Yes, you're doing well. The other thing that um, I wanted to ask you about, though, is your experience with 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 learning what has worked for you you know in terms of things you're you know so what i had here was like your hobbies music video dating gaming yes mm -hmm. vacation art i don't know what is it that helps you herzlich willkommen zum english coach podcast präsentiert von trainingtree.de die personalisierte lösung im bereich erwachsenenbildung und jetzt Dein Gastgeber. Er sagt zwar immer ich und dich, ansonsten ist sein Deutsch fantastisch. Ian Antonio Patterson. It is December 2020 and the English Coach Podcast has matured over the past year. And it's still about offering you immersion into the language, into real things and real personalities from wherever you are. The show is inclusive and non-pretentious and simply for people who want to improve and keep their language skills by engaging with real conversations, real people and things in a fun and interesting way. Before we move on with the show today, I want to send a special shout out to all my listeners in India. I see that you're listening. Feel free to reach out and tell me personally what you think. The show is inclusive, so if you're responding to the show, then it's also you who I'm doing it for. So consider this an invitation. Feel free to send your voice on anything you like or don't like about the show. Two themes, however, that are on my mind right now are, one, human aspects as they relate to remote work and remote learning, and two, lessons learned in this regard over the year 2020. So just head on over to www.englishcoachpodcast.com and use the big orange button and perhaps get featured on an upcoming show. You can also use the subdomain voicemail.englishcoachpodcast.com. The show is about language, the spoken word. So I'd encourage everybody to use their voice if given the opportunity. And don't take for granted something that others can't. Instead, take ownership. Don't apologize. And don't ask for permission to express that which is already yours. Now, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Ian Antonio Pattison, host and producer of the show. And I've been a language trainer of adults in Berlin to date for well over a decade. The format of today's episode is a little different. And I will be holding your hand a little more today as we proceed, just so we stay on the same page. I hope you like it. This is about me, the person, and you, the person. We had a good learning experience together, I think. There was a good synergy. There was a good feeling. There's a good vibe. And um, I, I want other people to recognize that this can happen and... They can also benefit from it and also know me, the person, and know that when I talk about customers, they are real people. It's not just people I make up because a lot yeah, of people do People that. behind the voices, not only a voice in the internet. Yeah, Exactly. There are people involved, real people. Nothing against the machines and the robots and the automation, but this is about real people. Very personal. I do not 
want to try to be everything for everybody. I don't do the YouTube thing, trying to please the world. I prefer <laughs> to have, no, no, I don't do that. You know, I don't work for YouTube, you know, and I don't, I don't work for Instagram either, you know, but, but um, I use these platforms, very thankful for them. But, you know, just to be clear, I prefer to work with a small group of people to whom this service means something. This show has never been about meaningless platitudes in shallow celebration of celebrities or the like, who neither care about me or care about you. It's from and for the everyday person. My stars are my people, my course participants and my fans, and all the things that move them. It's not so easy to get the kind of comprehensive feedback we need sometimes, either as confirmation that we're doing something right or as constructive insight into how we can improve. It can even be harder to take that feedback, the good and the bad, and show that we're working with it, especially if all the ego wants sometimes is a little validation. Today we explore a little bit and maybe even offer a little validation of some of the things we already know. We broach the question implicit. How can you as a learner benefit from the quality of commitment that your trainer has? How does that affect you as a person and the level of success that you eventually achieve? What is it that drives the trainer? And what are the limits of the kind of connection that is humanly possible via online media. I prefer to work with a small group of people to whom this service means something, right? I don't want yeah. I, I don't want the, in Jamaica we say bugger people, yeah, bugger people. Bug I, I, I don't people. I, Yes, yes, a, a bag of people. <laughs> Bug, bugger people. Yeah, you work for yourself cuz you love what you're doing. Yeah, that's that's the whole point of it, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do love what I'm doing. I do love what I'm doing. I mean, you know, I can I can work on this, you know, the whole creative aspect of it from morning until two, three o'clock. And I don't I don't feel, you know, I don't feel bad about it at all. Yeah, and that's that's what we feel in our lessons with you. So uh, we, we we felt that uh, the, the, this, uh, the, the stuff you're teaching us. It's not because, or oh, I, I need to do it for my money. I need to do it for this, for that. We felt that you're doing this because you like what you're doing. Yeah, you have a passion, a passion for that, for what you're doing, online yeah. with other people, teaching them how to uh, be a better, better English speaker, even if their native language isn't English or maybe isn't mm -hmm. even German at all yeah yes but yes, uh, yes. We, we felt that yeah and that's that's how we 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 become uh, the some great vibes between us because we felt that you are here because you love to being here you you love to teach other people uh, to be a better english speaker yeah yeah Hey man, I, I really appreciate it. You know, actually we can just close off the show right there because that's what I, I want to hear that. Yeah. Where does it all come from? What motivations, attitudes, approaches, and methodologies work for you? What exactly are the artistic qualities that positively influence your online learning experience? As an online trainer, validation is fantastic. No secret about that, because I am a human being. So how does a trainer give that positive feedback that the learner needs to succeed? What exactly does come across? And how does it affect confidence building and the actual learning experience that you have? Um, thank you very much for that. Uh, it is true. I, I do love what I'm doing. It's in my blood. You know, my, I have to give thanks to my my father. Yes, I don't talk about my father too much, but he was a teacher as well for a while and he changed his job. Um, but, you know, once a teacher, trainer, always that kind of person, it affects the way you talk. And my mother as well, she did it until she retired. So I have to give those people thanks, you know. Well, and, both um, of your parents were teachers too. Both both of my parents, both of my parents, oh. you know. And uh, it is definitely something that is in my blood because it is a... Uh, I call it a feel good kind of thing because there are there are few pure things in life, you know. 
these these things are things like art. I I do art, which is which is pure. You know, some people say, even um, I did a program once. You know, trying to figure out the definition of art, and I got many many um, definitions from different people. You know, cooks, engineers, dancers, painters. Cool. And one well, yeah, clear. One of the definitions was if you do art for money, then it's not art anymore. Now you know yeah. that's that's that, that's tricky. You know. Because making money can be an art as well, but <laughs> of course, but, um, yeah. yeah, you know, it, it's really a, a love thing. The art is art can be pure, and teaching can be pure because both of them are giving. You're giving of yourself. You're giving your soul, and I'm glad you felt that. Yeah, I yeah, really appreciate. I, I'm, it. I'm Thanks, pretty ben. sure not. I, I'm not the only one who felt that. Yeah, also mm. most of the class uh, felt that for sure. Yeah, you know, and that's another thing, you know, online, it was a large group of people and uh, it's not easy to, to communicate that feeling to a large group of people. Yeah, and uh, that, that's something, you know, there's some skill there and there's also some art there, We're talking about the two pure things, you know, training and art, there are others, but there is an art to it as well because, um, you know, you have to find out, you have to, you have only the voice of people to know what is their frame of mind and to, to feel if they're engaged just from the way they're talking. That's all I have, you know? So do you have I'm no gestures or mimics or something that you, you can present to people? You have only just uh, the sound of your voice, maybe a small yes. little avatar or something mm -hmm. that can wave, say hi, mm -hmm. yeah, or can yeah, sit down. Yeah. So, but, yes, but nothing yes, yes. else. And uh, I, yeah. um, for, for me, in my opinion, I think it's a lot harder to be a good online teacher Instead of being a, a, a normal teacher to, to, to have a class in front of you, 20 to 30 people and, and, and a whiteboard writing down stuff here, guys, that's what you have to learn. This are the vocabulary. This, it's, it's, it's much more challenging for yourself to, 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 to give that people uh, the information and uh, everything so they, they can improve in English. Right. And, um, I think um, you did a great job. There are some uh, pros you. and cons on everything. Yeah, but overall, I think we had a, a, a nice, a great, great, great lessons together. And uh, I hope we are getting you next year. No, it's not next year. We have some uh, Prüfungsvorbereitung mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. before the uh, IHK Prüfung yes. comes. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. So uh, maybe course. we can we can we can come along again. <laughs> of course, you know you can always. I think you can make some kind of a special request. I didn't want to talk about the specifics of of how we worked too much because you know. But um, generally speaking, of course, you can always make a recommendation or or, or a request, and um, I'd be happy. The good thing is that another thing about online training is that you know you have to be clear on the structure whereas you know i don't know if you you recognize but i always tried to remind people what we're doing and why we're doing it so we we're always on the same page to start and 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 that's that speaks to the the organization the documentation you know the, the whole methodology mm -hmm. has to be based on some kind of a learning goal Yeah, if, and if that's not clear to everyone, uh, uh, clear where we're going and where we are now, then it can be problematic, right? So uh, luckily I did that. So it would be easier for me to actually continue with you guys and repeat the things that were done because it's all documented. It's all documented. It's all there. So mm -hmm. if you want, you can, you can definitely do that. Oh, man. You know, as I'm actually... You're not seeing I'm wearing a pulley now, yeah, but <laughs> I'm actually having one of these goosebumps moments because you touched on so many things. I mean, I can just sit down and just, you know, I mean, as I said, you know, I can stop the show because you've said already everything that um that I would like to hear. Thank you again oh, for that. Great. Thank ah, you, thank you, thank you very much for that. Yeah, 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 natürlich, natürlich, natürlich. Still, are we ready to confront the pros and cons of online learning? How can we overcome these negative effects? And how exactly?
exactly have the learning by doing and DIY approaches to learning been shown to help? The problem is you have some uh, you have some some good sides and some bad sides for for all for everything in the world. Of course. Yeah? So I yes. think uh, for me I can tell you my honest opinion about uh, online learning if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. I think of course. it's it's a great way to to bring people together from all over the world. So now mm -hmm. you can be from Jamaica, you can be from China, you can be from everywhere, and you can mm -hmm. meet on on the on the on the termine and mm -hmm. come together and uh, discuss some things and learn maybe. But uh, I think for me, it's easier to learn if I see the people talking to me. So I can feel his emotions when, when he is talking, when he is uh, telling me something, when he is teaching me something, to see his mimics, his gesture and so yes, on. Yes. It's, it's much easier to, 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 to keep that in mind, what he is telling me. Right, but uh, for for online learning, you have no such things. There's only maybe an avatar mm -hmm. and a person who is talking to you. But if that person is doing a great job, it's mm -hmm. the same uh, the, the the same stuff I can I can keep for myself mm -hmm. and uh, wende es im, im richtigen Leben dann an. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like you said in one of your previous podcasts, try to think in English. Yes, After yes. I heard that podcast, I tried to think in English. Mm -hmm. When when mm -hmm. when we are uh, at school or anywhere, I tried to think. Hmm. Antonio told me try to think in English, so I'm doing. <laughs> I tried to <laughs> to think in English, right? And oh, uh, man, that yeah. helps me a lot. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, to be honest, man. that's that's a pretty good. Uh, I think uh, the podcast you're doing and the how do I say it correct in English? Uh, the Unterricht den du machst. Ah, well, the, the, the classes. The classes you're doing um, is such uh, not, the, not the typical school English. Here mm -hmm. people do this, learn that, this are the vocabulary, do this and do that. You're trying to help the people to, uh, let's say, to feel the language, to, to, yes. to, to become one, you can say. Yeah, yes, so to yes, be, yes. hmm, what do I use for now? Is it this mm -hmm. vocabulary? No, is it that? No, you, you just tell the people just mm -hmm. to use what you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they, ne, learning by doing, you can say. Yeah. The democratization of the learning experience is an idea that I've spoken of since the very first episode of the show in November of 2019. Informed and inspired since 2014, primarily by two schools of thought. One, HTW Berlin, University of Applied Sciences, right here in Berlin. And two, the University of Oxford, Department of Continuing Studies, over there in the UK. These thoughts, ideas and inspiration have been going on since long before the crisis. It all means that with the knowledge of the world in our pockets via our smartphones, you get a chance to choose who you work with. You get to check and to choose who and what actually has your interest at heart. You get to express those relational, inclusive qualities that will impact the personal success that you achieve. Why else learn a language if not to converse with people? You know, it's so nice that you're saying this. As though, you know, I'm in a, a permanent state of goosebumps right now. Yeah, but <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, you know, when I say authentic, we like we like to to use that word a lot. And when I say authentic, I mean authentic. And and because it's an independent show, I don't have anyone to to report to. I don't have any Werbung to sell. Yeah. If I'm giving a Werbung, it is mine and it is my Mitteilung. I don't call it Werbung. So what that does, it gives me the freedom to actually be authentic. And, and when I have a small group of people to serve, I can care about them. If I have 55,000 people, I cannot care about them. I cannot care about 55,000 people, but if I have a small group of people who believe in what I'm doing and feel what it is I'm doing and notice that it's real, and when I say living the language, yes, and I care about the progress they're making and they believe it and they see that it's true, then that's all I need. 
I don't need 500,000 people. I don't need to do this YouTube thing. And, and that is exactly what obviously is bringing the results that you feel, you know, authentic here. Honestly, sounds like Werbespruch vielleicht, aber <laughs> es ist echt. It's true. That's it's the true. thing. It, it, yeah. it, is, it is true, yeah? And, and so many people promise. I mean, when you see a guy, a guy has... I don't know, 55,000 followers and, 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 and hundreds of thousands of clients. How the hell can he know these clients by their first name? No way. No yeah? possible at all. Lies, <laughs> lies. Yes. So, you know, I'm not even talking about what other people are doing, right? What, what I want to do is just I want to serve a small group of people. Even this platform that I'm um, starting now, I said it's been built It's been running already for years, but, you know, I didn't really put it out because I'm a perfectionist, you know, and then there were different challenges I had in life. There was sickness in the family. There were some business problems. I had to move from where I was living and, um, you know, changing relationships, all sorts of things happened. So, you know, but now it is ready and it is going. And um, the people who I will invite in, nobody can just register themselves i have to know the people yeah i have to oh, i have to talk okay. to them first yeah klar yeah klar i have to i have to put people in it's serious this authentic thing this this relational aspect of of what i'm actually trying to do for a small group of people it's real i have to meet the people i have to know that this person's serious i have to say okay okay now i know you're a real person right i will put you in oh, i like that right? concept real people authentic Yeah, relationship. That is what I'm going for. And I do not want hundreds of thousands of people. I don't know, maybe it changes tomorrow. I don't know. But right now, um, I can't handle that. I can't afford it. I don't think it's authentic and it doesn't fit to anything that I'm trying to do right now. So um, just, 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 just to be clear, small group of people, I just hope people um, will register or basically register their interest or ask about it quickly because um as i said i can't serve everyone it's, it's not just english it's um uh, i'm also being supported by other artists so uh, coming back to the whole idea of living the language and this is very important there are very many people who the significant part of their language development happens through hobbies free time activities and other things outside mm -hmm. of the classroom so the, the the website is called Training Tree for a reason. It doesn't, it's not called English whatever, right? Because there are going to be other things involved. Um, I'm working with other artists who are offering other activities that people can do um, to learn their English, whether it be sport, yeah, or uh, maybe dance, or maybe cooking, or maybe photography, whatever it is. Yeah, free time activities, real passions, real interests, and developing the language that way. That's what the the whole site is about. And you know, it is December 2020, and by now I'm sure episode 40 speaks for itself. I just take this opportunity to finally thank my friend and past course participant Gary. Today, Gary rightly calls himself in German. Angehende Anwendungsentwickler. In English, he is an app developer in training. I want to thank Gary for sharing his well-grounded insight with us today. This really does mean a lot because, you know, as I've said before, it's not so easy to get feedback. You know, sometimes people are a little bit shy. They don't know where to start. They don't know what specifically, you know, what is the specific nature of the feedback that is being requested. And that is perfectly fine. I know it's not easy to come on mic, come on the show, and express or, let's say, to show that level of vulnerability that it takes to speak honestly and clearly to the world, you know, to say what it is that you really mean for everybody to hear. You know, who knows who will probably think differently about that tomorrow. I'm very thankful to Gary and I want to give him permission, you know, giving him permission that he really doesn't need from me, but let it be known that all the sentiments that have been expressed today, true as they may be, Gary, of course, 
has the right to simply change his mind another day. Nothing is wrong with that. But still, thank you very much, Gary. It was so fantastic. It was great. And, um, you know, that level of validation, that kind of confirmation, again, that what we are doing as trainers is actually working for someone really does mean a lot. And, um, you know, I hope more people will give me that kind of insight sometimes because at the end of the day, I, I really am doing this show for you. There have been a few other people who've helped and their episodes are coming up soon. You know, it's just um, I have to, to be mindful of how I frame all of this. I, I want to put it together nicely because it is something of great value. It is, again, as I said, not so easy to get this kind of feedback sometimes. And it kind of adds a quality also of legitimacy. Because all these wonderful things that I can, yeah, I'm quite capable of saying about myself, they are better when they come from someone else. And um, I'm just glad that he shared with us today and everybody can kind of get a feel of not only how I do things and what makes me special as a trainer, but some of the other things that are also affecting other trainers as we evolve more, ever more into this new online paradigm all right so i think that was it very authentic non-scripted and um gary thanks again so then that's enough for me for now so i truly hope you enjoy the rest of the show can i can i say something about the last podcast you you sent me or, or the whole thing what you you uh, to give you a feedback of all about that of course of course which one number 33 um, the last... it's what well, there was it was the one you sent me via whatsapp uh, ah okay i think it's 33 with sibylle and... ah sibylle, sibylle von spitzen yes. <laughs> yes 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 sibylle, and sibylle. with anna i really 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 enjoyed it and i think this oh, uh, this was one of the podcasts where what you were talking uh, earlier on uh, mm -hmm. about being authentic yeah the, yes, the, the, yes, yes, the, yes. the the main uh, die, die Haupt, der Hauptbestandteil war ja Culture, Culture in, 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 in languages. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I really, really like enjoying uh, to he uh, hearing that. Yeah? Yes. Um, and I think you, you, you deserve better for sure. Now having thousands and thousands and thousands of, of abos and so on. Mm -hmm. But I think to, to be uh, such a, a big, how does it call it, a big teacher, yeah mm -hmm. you can call it like that um it's a, a little bit uh, it's not being authentic anymore because you're talking to people hey guys and not hey gary or mm -hmm. hey the no, mm -hmm. hey anna so and mm -hmm. and it's it's a little bit kaputt machen diese dieses authentische yeah wenn es wenn es zu groß ist meinst du genau Moment, wenn es Moment. zu groß ist dann 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 hast du einfach dieses du, du sprichst die leute nicht mehr direkt an sondern sondern du du benutzt so ein Überbegriff, so hey Leute, ne, wie geht's euch und so, aber nicht mit dieses person to person. Eh? And I think this that's a little bit uh, distracting your for, from being authentic, you know? Yes, 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 But, yes. Uh, it fits, it fits. Yeah, it, man, it I just want to keep it personal. I want to keep it personal. You know, I always talk about, you know, the podcast takes my usual relaxed, accessible human approach. <laughs> yeah, like human approach. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like, I like, I like to talk about that. You know, it's not, um, it, it's, it's real. You know, nothing is wrong with the the algorithms and like the 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 language apps and so on. You know, it's um, mm -hmm. uh, I have some friends, they're developers, and they say to me, well, the thing is with apps and all of this stuff, yeah, they can't, they can't, they can't do context really well. Right. They, they have um, they're, they're learning, you know, the translator programs and so on. They're learning all the time. However, they can't do context because they're still thinking in ones and zeros, basically. Nothing against <laughs> nothing. But you see, my point is that there's a lot between one and zero, you yeah. know, and it's, it sounds simple, but and it's, it's probably oversimplified. But um, yeah, it's, it's what lies between the one and the zero. That is what makes the human the human. Right? right. Also, eins heißt nicht immer eins. You know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just different. 
And anyway, you know, I don't want to get into that. But you know, the thing is with Anna, Anna, Anna is, let me tell you about Anna now. Anna, Anna was a teacher of mine at um, a lecture at HTV, my second university. I had to change universities. I don't know if I told you guys the story, but um, I ended up in HTV Berlin. And she was one of the lecturers. There's another one actually coming up on another pod- podcast. This American lady Great. called Sandra. Sandra, yes, yes. She was also another, another. Using a ray of sunshine, you know. In life, you meet people who, you know, souls, souls that stick around, and there are not so many. Um, um, Anna was one. Sandra was one when I was in Frankfurt Oder. I mean, I needed to meet people like that there because it was a rough time for me. And Anna at the second university was also another one. And she has a way. Have you listened to her voice? She has such a warm and inviting uh, you voice. You mean Sandra or Anna? Anna, no. Anna, Anna. Anna, yeah, Anna. sure. I listened to oh the whole goodness. podcast. <laughs> of course. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sure. You know, when I listen to Anna, you know, I when I listen to Anna, I just want to believe. You know, I want to believe everything that Anna says. And I'm not joking. And I'll tell her again, you know. <laughs> she, has, she has such a calming <laughs> voice, like you too. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. So it's a little I, bit calming. So, so, so you enjoy listening to her or, that, or to you the more he or she is talking. Right, mm-hmm. so it's it's calming. You want to listen. You 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 want yes. to know more from that person. I yeah. really 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 enjoyed that. Oh man, oh man, yeah. I was so moved by her at the university, and that was like years ago, you know, years okay. ago. And then we've stayed in contact ever since. That's a, that's a good sign, you know, when you stay in contact with people. And um, she finally made it on the show. And I, I kid you not, you know, when when I was talking, I felt all of that. I was a student. She was a lecturer. And there was a kind of affection. You know, I, I liked her as a person and also uh-huh. what she was saying. And um, that is why the relationship um, worked until now. You see what happens when you actually make that kind of personal connection with people. Then it's something that because of the feeling whether it could be a good feeling that you that you want to revisit or you want to keep that kind of thing actually makes the language the things you've learned stronger right the 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 relational aspect is what i'm going for you're not going to get that from a language app right uh, when you make a connection, everybody knows if you if you, for example, we're adults here, you get into a mixed relationship with someone. Right. And I've had mixed relationships with people who don't speak 100 um, percent English or or, or or I don't speak 100 percent German. And because of that keen interest and that Leidenschaft yeah, or so passion, you learn better because it's based on feeling. One hundred percent. That's that's. What <laughs> I, I wanna... agree with that one hundred percent. That's what I want to do. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It can just be with Anna. It was inspiration. Well, I did like her voice as well, but um, inspiration and 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 she was just a very pleasant person. Inviting. Yeah, you, you could in, also in say you can't you, you can't have affection with an app. Even it's not a, a romantic affection with another person. It's just mm-hmm. you, 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 you feel that the people you're talking to is caring about you, is yes, is, yes, is yes. interested in you for your news. Uh, everything is all right with you, and and mm-hmm. and, and so on. So you so you have a, a special connection. You you can't have you're that connection with 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 an app that told you person. here. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. You're the person. So and yeah. um, that's. I, what I definitely would say is online teaching, online coaching, or however you want to call it, is mm-hmm. is the new way to bring people together and maybe even teach them English, maths, physics, mm-hmm. uh, and whatsoever, right? Yeah, so sure, and sure. and I think an app you you can you can use an app, yeah, that mm-hmm. that that helps you along. To, mm-hmm. With the teacher or with mm-hmm. the with the lecturer you you have right, yes, but it it can it can't replace it. No, Never, um, not at all, not at all. So not, so, not yet, not yet, yet. not yet. <laughs> Maybe not with yet. some AI yeah. intellect aliens or something. Yeah, you can you can have an app talking to you like a like a real human being. But uh, I think. Uh, the whole thing about online coaching is is 
auf ihrem Weg noch besser zu werden. Ja. Yeah, I'm just glad that people have accepted it finally. At first I felt a little bit bitter, yeah, to be honest, I was bitter and I vented, I vented. Ich habe mich immer so gemacht, habe ich immer so gemacht, und jetzt alle machen das. Mit dem Finger auf sie gezeigt, ja. Natürlich, natürlich, ja. Und ich habe mich so gefreut, weil ich könnte dann diese Spruch dann also ein bisschen so umdrehen jetzt, ja. Ich habe so ein Foto gemacht, ja. So habe ich das immer gemacht. Right. Das war so lustig, ja. Ja, ja na, natürlich, natürlich, habe ich gemacht, habe ich gemacht. Aber ja, okay, gut. Also jetzt, jetzt ist okay und jetzt ist, jetzt ist, ist gut so. Ja, yeah. and again, I do not want to knock the apps, yeah, because I think they're also very good for learning vocabulary for beginners. Yeah, and it's a good gamified way of, you know, testing things that can be structured. Structured problems, you can always put them in and, mm -hmm. you know, do your little grammar puzzles, as I like to call them, or or vocabulary. Um, it's a nice way. And, uh, it's a nice people... way to learn yeah. the vocabulary, the grammar, mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit of tense or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But yes. I think for the for the people to feel the language, to feel confident, mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. the language, mm -hmm. they really need a people like you, Antonio. Yeah. Yes, man. Every time. <laughs> That's, that's such such a great great experience to talk uh, to someone with a language that's not your native language, right? Yeah. It's, it's always yeah. a little bit you're a little bit nervous. You don't want to be the idiot. Can't even talk mm -hmm. uh, uh, the simplest things, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, du hast das ein bisschen anders vermittelt, ja? Auch während yeah. des Unterrichts so du hast einfach gesagt, yeah, let's go talk, and mm -hmm. then it will be better anytime soon, right? Yeah, and yes. for me, it, it, it was, yeah? It I tried to it. think in English. I, I mm -hmm. used the tips you gave to me. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it, I feel a little bit more confident now to speak to That someone in English. Right? That is good. That is good. And I try to give people power as well, you know, because I work a lot with adults and and working people and 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 people who are you know well educated so i like to let people know that listen i know that you don't talk this way all the time and it's also nice that i can talk to them in their own language as well because then they can get the feeling that i know that as i said they don't talk like that all the time you know and and mm -hmm. and, and, and and in terms of this 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 source of power I always say to people, never, ever say my English is bad. So you're learning the language, yes? Because what that does, it helps you to, to, to keep your own language as your source of power and and to to feel confident, even though you might not be able to, to, to express yourself with the same level of intellect that you are used to, yeah. right? Um, It's, it's okay, you know, it's the, the child state. I went through it as well when I was learning German, um, surrounded by kids. They were seven years younger than I was. And um, and I, I all of a sudden, I was the child. Yeah, because I couldn't, I couldn't uh, express myself in a way that, I, that I'm used to, yeah. you know. And I felt like a baby. And, and, and yeah, yeah. A little bit helpless in that moment too. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, yes, you, yes, you don't know how to to do to, to communicate, yeah, to tell people mm -hmm. how you feel or maybe something is wrong with you or mm -hmm. you want to ask something, so it's just a, a little bit helpless, I think, right? To yeah, to be uh, in that state. So it was really bad. It was uh, really bad. But, um, you know, you, you just have to reframe it in your head. That's why I try, try to say to people, do not think of yourself as being. That's another thing with the, the podcast with Anna. When uh -huh. you use another language, to an extent, you adapt, you adopt another personality. And, and, and if you now adopt the personality of, 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 of the child, then you might feel like the child. And right. um, nothing is wrong with jumping between, you know, one and the other and saying that, okay, fine, this is not really who I am 100%. I am someone else who is very competent in, 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 in his own language, hmm. but here I'm trying. So, you know, bear with me. I got it. It's, it's 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 pretty complicated because even if you want to talk, uh, you, you want to teach a child maybe, 
right? Uh, or uh, yeah, you want to teach a child, you have to know how the child is feeling when he or she is used to talk in another mm -hmm. language they are not mm -hmm. confident with. So you can't yeah. say it like uh, you would say it to an adult. Oh, you have to da, 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 da. yeah. Say mm -hmm. it like mm -hmm. this. Use this and this and this. So you have to 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 dich in das Kind oder hinein zu versetzen, right? To 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 teach them uh, about the language, the culture. And mm -hmm. so so on, right? It's it's not yes. that easy to be uh, uh, very flexible, flexible with that, right? So it's it's whew, pretty hard, yeah. I would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness! You know, this is so good. This is so good. All right. You know what, Gary? Yes. I do not want to keep you all day, so I'm gonna. Just go straight to one of these questions that I had prepared earlier. All right. And let me see. Let me see. All right. Now, we've spoken about my training style. That's one thing that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about online learning in general, what you thought about it. You touched on that very well. Now, you are a competent speaker of, of English. Yes, you're competent. A, speaker, a little confident. bit. A little yes, bit. You are, I'm feeling you are. confident, but <laughs> yeah. You're a competent speaker. Yeah, so you know, I can tell you that. As a, you will have absolutely no problems as long as you, you frame yourself properly as as you know, I mean, I don't think you pretend to be a native speaker, and you should never do that. Yeah, what why? Most native speakers are lazy. They don't want to <laughs> learn any other language. Yeah. So you shouldn't pretend and ever, ever. And I think in any job situation, you will not have a problem. Yes. Anybody who tries to to make your competence a problem, they're trying to sell you something. Just take my words mm. for it. Yeah. So just 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 keep on keeping on. Yes. You're doing well. Um, the the other thing that um, I wanted to ask you about, though, is your experience with 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 learning what has worked for you you know in terms of things you're you know so what i had here was like your hobbies music video dating gaming yes mm -hmm. vacation art i don't know what is um, it that helped you so what 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 me uh was me helped to be a better english speaker yeah hmm, i try to use my uh, games that i play to play in english or at least have a subtitle for it yeah mm. I'm, i'm my series i'm watching yeah like uh, i don't know if i can say some some series here but i try to 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 watch them in english mm -hmm. with maybe turn on the german subtitle so to know uh, uh, what they are talking i know what they are talking about but to to yes. make sure that what i'm hearing is correct i turn on the subtitle Good. or maybe i'm trying to to talk to another person in English. I have some uh, communities where I talk with people uh, or write with people. They are from all over the world, right? They are from America, Japan, Chinese people, African, everywhere. They are from everywhere. And we are talking about serious gaming, uh, maybe uh, something what's going on in the world with the whole COVID uh, <laughs> stories and such, right? Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. one, I talked to him lately. Um, uh, his, uh, he, he got uh, infected with COVID-19 and oh. uh, he is talking to me because he is in Dubai at the moment working, but his, his home was somewhere in the Philippines. Mm. Okay. So, and he is stuck so. there right now. So oh, he is talking to me. What can I do? I try to help him. I try to to calm him a bit, right? And even when I'm when my English is uh, that, that I'm talk to him or what I've with him geredet habe, is not the best. gewesen. Ja, es hat ihm trotzdem ein bisschen geholfen, ein bisschen runterzukommen und mir aber trotzdem durch das Lesen ein bisschen geholfen mm -hmm. to be yeah. a better English reader in that case. Okay. And then, of course, uh, the the one tip I really, really, really love that tip is what you told in one of the podcasts is try to think in English. Oh yeah, that's I a think very popular episode. <laughs> that's that's 
I think that's one of the best tips to be a better English speaker, reader, whatsoever. Is mm -hmm. really, you can do it even with Japanese. When when you have some some small vocabulary in Japanese, but you you can talk to people. Try to think in Japanese, for example. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. I really loved this advice. So oh, I man. only can repeat it over and over again. I tried to think in English. Last time, uh, I, at fr last Friday, I went to mm -hmm. the to the to the yeah. dentist, right? And on my way home, I tried to thought in English what he had done to me <laughs> to my <laughs> tooth, right? <laughs> so um, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So or when I'm when I'm on the train and I mm -hmm. see some 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 advertisement with these. Uh, monitors you know yeah. s-bahn there are some mm -hmm. some some strange lcd monitors with with all-time advertisement <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah i i watch them and i try to to think about them in english well i try to yeah. to translate it into english right perfect and perfect. and that helps me a lot or or using my phone i i i, I lately uh, do the um had changed my phone mm -hmm. uh How do I call it in English? Ich habe die Sprache von meinem, von, meinem, von meinem Handy ins Englische gestellt. Yes, I understand the settings yeah? to English, the language the settings, settings to English, right? So mm -hmm. if you if you, if you want to to adapt or to 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 be a better English or any language speaker, try mm -hmm. to to use the 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 language on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not everywhere yeah. in particular, but mm -hmm. uh, in some places where you know. I'm now gaming, I'm now reading, mm -hmm. I'm now watching mm -hmm. my my shows. Mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. So try to, yeah. to implement that any in your daily routines or mm -hmm. whatsoever. And I think yes. that's that's the key. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yes. To to, to yes. be a better English speaker, language in in the Ganzen. So no? Yeah. And this is the advice you would give to, to, to other learners. Yeah. One hundred percent. Try to use it on a daily basis somewhere. Hey, it's fine. That's perfect. That's perfect. I, I did the same when I was learning German. But, you know, I'm going to try to to just frame that a little bit. Because some people, you know, well, some of us need, let's say, facts summarized into little chunks. And what you've said to me there is that, first of all, you are contacting with people. You're in contact with people all over the world, you know, people speaking the language from different parts of the world. So first of all, that speaks to what I like to call an international standard. Okay? That's all the first right. thing. <laughs> the second thing is that you are emotionally invested because you're talking to real people. You know, this guy was sick. You were sorry for him. You're trying to help. You recognize that he was panicking. You have empathy for the person, right? And because you are emotionally invested in this person then that whole thing the same for example i like anna so you know i mean you 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 recognize the warmth on the show and and, and because of that it, it feels good not only to me and to her but to everybody who listens that's so popular for sure yes of course yeah. of course of course so this so is that's not so aufgesetzte This is not exactly. so aufgesetzt. It's real. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that, that is the authentic man. That's what I'm talking yes. about. Yeah. And that is that is what I'm trying to do with this, 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 this podcast, the podcast and the whole training is, you know, the living the language. That is what I'm trying to do. Right. And I want to be a part of that for a small group of people. I want to guide them through that process and give the tips and so on. And um You know, that, that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm glad you recognize that and you're helping me with this this message. I'm not you trying know. to give you more goosebumps right now, but uh, for <laughs> me, I think you have accomplished that because I, I when I listen to your podcast, I feel that. That you Good, are man. not only talking to the people because you think, oh, I need to, to, to grow bigger, to be a, mm -hmm. a bigger uh, uh, online coach or whatsoever. You're mm -hmm. authentic. And I, I really feel that in every podcast I hear from you. With with good, all man. the guests on it, right? Good, also, good, good. respect yeah. dafür. Das ist wirklich super. <laughs> hey, danke. Ja, also, weißt du, ich, ich versuche das wirklich so zu machen. Also für mich authentisch heißt was. 
es ist nicht einfach so irgendein Wort, die ich einfach so aufsetze, weil es cool ist, ja, es muss mhm. auch irgendwas heißen und irgendwann, also ab und zu mal rege ich mich auch auf, ja, das ist auch toll, weil es unabhängig ist, dann kann ich, kann, 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 too, kann, right? kann ich, kann ich, kann ich, ja klar, kann ich schreien und kann ich sagen, <lacht> ja, so ist das und es ist mir scheißegal, oder, ja, was von, was von egal, ja, und kann ich machen. Yeah, das meins. Sure. <lacht> und, well, I und, really, really love that. <lacht> ja, genau, genau. Und du, wie du merkst, ich bringe auch ein bisschen Theater so rein ab und zu mal. Ne? Mach ich, manchmal mache ich ein bisschen Theater, dass Leute, oh, oh, ja? und dann, wenn die irgendwas spüren, dann vergessen sie das gar nicht. Yeah. <lacht> ja, die muss irgendwas spüren erstmal. Ja. Yeah. But that's being authentic too. So it's, it's not only one thing being authentic. So you have mm -hmm. to be Uh, always like that. Yeah, to be authentic yeah. means to see all the, the the facetten of a person, not only one thing. And that's a really really great yeah. way to to bring a, 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 a new language to a person, or in this particular English, to a person who is not confident speaking it, or is yeah. uh, at the beginner state of being an mm -hmm. English speaker. Yeah, yes. and yes, yes. I really like the concept. And I think uh, if you keep doing what you're doing, you will 100% accomplish that for yourself to say, I accomplished what I tried to accomplish. Yes, yeah? yes. And that's yes. a Thank really, really that. great way to Thank to to being a, a, a online coach for, for a, a small group of people, maybe a bigger group of people, in the in the future but for for now it's really on the way to be that what you wanted it to be in my Thank opinion i can only I, i really i hope so i really hope so thank you man thank you very much for that and yeah i, I really keep my fingers crossed <laughs> yeah <keep laughs> me, me too <laughs> and uh, yeah You know, hopefully I get more insights um, from other people like you. Because, you know, in Germany, we're very shy, you know, we're very shy. <laughs> yeah, to, I'm, uh, to, to be honest, I was uh, really <laughs> nervous at, uh, in, in the last couple of days. After yeah. you, you asked me to, 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 to have a little conference, a little, a little discussion with you about the whole thing. But mm -hmm. the more we speak, the mm -hmm. more confident I'm feeling to, to, to talk in English. Right. Good. At good, the, good. Good. At at twelve, uh, mm -hmm. uh, as I joined here in the in the conference, I think, oh, do I need my vocabulary? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, lingui, no. where are you? <laughs> I need help. I have to speak in English. <laughs> lingui. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, uh, after a couple of minutes talking to you, eh, yeah. to 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 know we have some kind of affection for each mm -hmm. other so i yes, like you yes, you yes. like me so i'm feeling confident now even when i have right. some grammar problems or some mm -hmm. spelling problems or whatsoever i i think to myself i don't care i'm just talking Good. right Good. So, and and that feeling if you if you can bring this feeling to more people i think this is one of the best ways really to learn english I, okay. I, I mean, you can't talk to every single person. Maybe you have 100 uh, people in the small group. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, At some point, it's getting tricky to talk to everyone by one, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if, you, if, if, if you record uh, the, the conferences, mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the, das Gespräch mit den Leuten, yeah. Yeah, yeah. dann merken die das. So, okay. hey, ne? und dadurch habe ich das jetzt ein bisschen auch so adaptiert, das Ganze, ja, ja. und okay. man fühlt sich dann einfach wohl, eine Sprache zu sprechen, mhm. die gar nicht deine, deine Muttersprache ist. Ja? ja, und es macht auch Spaß, ja. Macht, I'm really enjoying this at the moment, yeah, ja. so I, I, I love to, to talk English. <lacht> macht, macht, ich meine, also, ja, ich weiß nicht, also, ganz viel Schmerz habe ich ja auch durch Deutsch erlebt, ne, und Deutsch lernen und sowas, aber mhm. in große genommen, es macht Spaß, auf jeden Fall. Ja, yeah, ja, yeah, auf jeden Fall. And if, yeah. and if you can bring this feeling to, to more people, soon the whole world will speak English only because yeah. of, of the great Antonio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Hey, tell you what, Gary, you know, let's just keep it, let's just keep it short and sweet, man. Yes. Um, I, okay. I, I, look, I look forward to, to hearing from you, you know, um, please share, share the show, you know, um, I, 
I want as many people as possible to to get that. Um, mm -hmm. every, every new show I record, I say, oh my God, this is my best work. Oh, this is my best work. Oh, yeah. So it's improving, getting good feedback. It's not only me, but also the guests are very thankful for that as well. For example, Anna, she is... Um, She's working at a university here in Berlin, mm -hmm. and she's very as a cultural, well, her title is in the show, you know, if you can listen again. But she would also be thankful because her message on the show to me is actually a message to the world. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it's not it's not just to me and it's not just to you, you know. This is um, and 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 the whole show is not just about English lessons. Like give English lessons sometimes, but you know, to be honest, you know, if someone wants a lesson, they can pay for it. Yeah, mm. um, it is it is about living the language and 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 kind of having an experience with it, um, and sometimes that's even much more useful than a lesson. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Especially yeah. in that podcast, this is, it's, mm -hmm. it was really touching for me because mm -hmm. it uh, had me permitted, yeah, mm -hmm. that uh, speaking another language is not mm -hmm. only about speaking another language. It's mm -hmm. about uh, the, the culture. It's about uh, the the whole thing. A language is not only some words you have to translate in your own language. It's to adapt the language in some way. Yeah, so so you, as we always, or as you always say, is to feel the language, right? Yes, to to yes, know yes, about yes, the yes. culture, to know about when you how to approach people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and I think it's 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 a good way of learning a language when you are not only try to to study the vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, that has its place, right. definitely. It yeah, has its that's, place. That's good. Uh, sure. But but not not that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. And and I'm I'm trying to offer the other thing. Yes. The the lived experience. That is what I'm trying to do with the show. Right? And and, right. and another thing is that you can speaking of paying for courses, I didn't really want to talk about that so much, even though I am launching. The the short courses I'm doing now, they're 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 in support of remote work. Okay, that's something mm -hmm. else. It's structure, it's chart courses. People can can book if they want. But um the living of the language is 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 what I'm kind of really pushing here, you know. And and you can do a short course and then the course is over. This is I don't know if it's correct in German, but I've been using the word nachhaltige Sprache verb for a long time. And what mm. it means is that after the course, after the course is finished. You pay your thousands of dollars, yes. Then you have something that helps you to keep what you have learned, right? And this yep. is what I'm trying to do here. Yes, I want people to be interested. I want people to listen and say, "Ah, oh, yeah, was interessant is your," and feel something, and and hold on to their language so they don't just forget. Right. That's that's what it's about as well. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So I'm just glad it's working. Yeah, I'm glad it's uh, I'm glad it's working, and it's it's a big promise to make. You know, not most of the language. School, so if it has to do with money, then it has to be measurable and in little boxes and no, mm -hmm. and no. Um, it's it's not the easiest promise to make because you know you can't quickly translate that into into money. Yeah, but um, that's not what I'm about. What I'm about right now is really just um, serving a community of listeners who like the show. That's it, basically. I'm you know, one of them. <laughs> Here I, I am. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. I, I really do appreciate that. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, for every single fan that I have. I don't have very many fans. I'm on Instagram. I think I have 420 people there. On LinkedIn, um, not so many. You know, LinkedIn is a little funny because you know, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little pretentious. I think. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, it's um, jackets and suits and ooh, yeah. <laughs> but but um, sometimes, sometimes I put some funny things there and say, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a make fun. We need But... <laughs> that kind of people. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So then I put some funny things there and I say, oh, surprise, surprise, you know. <laughs> But um, it's still very, very dry and pretentious. I don't have yeah. so many people there. That's um, true. YouTube, I don't really have so many either. But um, as I said, small group. I don't need the thousands. I just need a small group of people who who, who talk to me and, and who engage and, and, you know, real people. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Not numbers. That's a good. This is, you can you can send me your 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 Instagram later on uh, after the oh, show. Yes, yes, yes. If you want, I, so... I, I, I have to. I will, but you know, I will warn you though. You know, I mean, I've been when I say authentic, I mean authentic. And when I say person, I mean person. The Instagram site is me, the person. Okay, so there might be some things there that you see that you didn't know before. Yes. Um, but but uh, right. I, 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 I don't separate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't separate. I don't separate. I don't separate me what I do from 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 who I am, right? I don't I don't have a brand that is like a brand, some kind of stempel pretending to be a person. I am a person mm -hmm. who do, does different things. So you will see. You will see. It's just one thing. You know, I, I I don't try to separate. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. And I think that's also pretentious to do that. Yeah, it's me, the person. And I do teaching, training, coaching, photography. And that's it. Everything, mm -hmm. everything, one place. Everything, one yeah, place. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you make. Uh, that's uh, what's making you authentic, right? So to be just the person who you are and not to pretend I'm now pretending I'm a teacher or now I'm pretending nee, to be I, an, a, a, a private person or so, nee, right? I, I don't have time for that, you know. And anybody who can't digest that or does a, does alles auf verdauen, die, die brauchen auch nicht kommen, yeah? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't want to close anyone out, but, you know, I just want people to have a chance to see first who is who and what is what. They can listen to the show, they can see the Instagram and then decide before they talk to me. If they come to me with with any kind of judgment on why you do it this way or why you don't separate it, you know, they can just stay. Yeah. So besonders wenn es mit um it's a pass of free show to do, no? Anyway, you know, keeping it positive, We're open to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> open to everyone, yeah. I just wanted to warn you. I want to warn you, yes, yes. You will see my cat. I love cats. I'm a cat person. <laughs> you will see my cat. Yes, it's your cat person. Yeah, one hundred percent cats. <laughs> <laughs> also, my uh, Sternzeichen is? is a lion, so a bigger cat. Oh right? yeah, stimmt. Yeah, genau, 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 genau. So, Mr. Man, I do wish for you the best, all the best on Sunday. Yes, but um, <laughs> I'll be keeping in touch anyway with you. No, of course. Yes, I will. I shall be. And uh, you know how to get in touch with me as well. But before before we leave, though, yes, um, we're getting to one hour. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the listeners? Who I would share with the listeners. So, hmm, yeah, try to lass the, the podcast auf dich wirken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Schön, schön auf Deutsch, gut, ja. Yeah. Especially in English, when when you listen to English, don't only listen it once or maybe, or I now have to hear another episode fast, fast, fast. Take your time, listen to it, maybe repeat the special part you don't understand, right? So repeat, repeat, repeat. Maybe you you don't have to, to, to look in the internet for some specific words uh, you may don't understand. Just try to figure it out yourself in first place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then just keep keep going mm -hmm. ja wenn du mal nicht weiter weißt wenn du mal gerade denkst oh ich werde nicht besser keep on doing listen to the podcasts try to 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 adapt what what antonio is telling to you is try to vermitteln yeah with the mm -hmm. guests he is inviting to his shows Mm -hmm. And uh, just keep on track. Is it right? To keep on track. Dabei yes, bleiben. Of course. Yeah. yeah, dabei bleiben. Dabei bleiben, mm. zuhören, das auf dich wirken lassen, und dann irgendwann wirst du das wie ich aus dem Stegreif einfach machen können. Even if it's not the best English I'm talking, but I feel confident. So I, I don't care. So <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think that would probably be one of the first trailers. Yeah. Ooh, I'm the oh, first yes, one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. That would be one of the first trailers. And um, you are. This is a special trailer because you are now um, coming here as a as a course participant, which is a very important thing because, as I said, you know, I can come online and say all sorts of things, but it's not so easy to get a, a participant to actually honestly say what they think 
yeah they, they, they don't really want to do that so much so this is really special oh you know? so yeah yeah Tom. <laughs> i'm so, a yeah. little bit proud <laughs> yes of course you, sh you should be proud of yourself you should be you should be yeah the thing is as so, yeah you know people just just don't 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 want to do that so much i'm mean, it's okay it's, it's it's human but if if i don't have participants talking then it will sound as if i'm making up stories and what i'm saying is not true yes oh i got so it so that's okay. why that's why that's why that's why it's important yeah so okay yeah man yeah so as we say in jamaica big love <laughs> yeah, big love <laughs> big love <laughs> big love, I love that every time yes man big love big love big love and uh yeah again enjoy your sunday i'm actually running off now to another possible um guest meeting mm -hmm. with a, another another coach and hopefully um she also liked the show she's really excited about it somehow and she kind of insisted that we meet today well yeah maybe i shouldn't say, say she insisted but she really wanted to meet and i also really wanted to meet because it seems as if we can do some kind of a collaboration oh so, great yeah yeah she's also a teacher you know it, it's resonating with people you know people are recognizing the authenticity that i talk about and i am very happy that um it's working that way Oh, fingers yeah. crossed. I hope that's that's something I can hear later on in some future podcasts, right? Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course, of course, of oh, course. Um, I'll let you know. I'm not going to say anything else because I don't know, you know, maybe maybe, maybe she's a strange person. Yes, <gasps> or something. But um, I'm meeting with her. <laughs> I mean, we'll find this really funny later on. But I have no idea, you know, maybe she's a serial killer. But um, <laughs> Who knows? I'm, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna meet with her now, and um, and and we're gonna see if something good comes out of it. Then this funny little part will definitely feature first. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All righty, man. So, Antonio, I wish you the best with the with the meeting, and mm -hmm. uh, I hope to hear from you in the future. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yes, you will. You will. keep doing you what will. you're doing. I really mm -hmm. love what you're doing. Try to mm -hmm. ne, vermitteln den Leuten wie es ist to, to become yeah. an English speaking person yeah yeah keep on doing that it helps me and it will for sure help any other people listening to your podcast thank you very much thank you all right much. Antonio oh my all right then have a great Sunday thanks and same to you sir with a small win is always a good way to begin Feel free to check out the show notes for this episode at www.trainingtree.de slash podcast or englishcoachpodcast.com. Like it if you like it. And if you don't, lie to me. Just kidding. You know, actually, to tell the truth, you know, likes don't really mean much. What I want you to do is to share the show with a friend. And you can also send some feedback. Give meaning to the things you think about the show by using the feedback form to tell me personally what you think. This will help it to help you as it's intended to do. Subscribe only if you feel like so you know when there's a new episode available. Thanks for listening. Looking forward to hearing from you and bye for now.